Okay, hi guys. Uh, I know you can't see me, uh, but this is the second part uh, of the series. It's about recording acoustic guitars. As you can see, uh, this is an open Pro Tools session. Uh, there are no plugins on the main tracks we recorded, the acoustic guitars. Uh, I will bounce it. I just put a limiter uh, so I can bounce it to 16 to 16 bits so I can upload it on SoundCloud. I'll put the description, uh, I'll put the link uh, uh, in the description bar on uh, on the YouTube video. So, uh, uh, j just to summarize quick, uh, uh, three mics were used on the rhythm guitar. Uh, one mic was used on the lead guitar. Uh, there, nothing is double tracked, and there is only uh, a smudge of reverb on the lead uh, on the lead uh, guitar, so it doesn't sound dry. Uh, for the chain, uh, for the three mics that we used on the rhythm guitars, the preamps were uh, a Navalon 737SP and a Focusrite ISA 828. Uh, so I'm just gonna play quick now. Uh, the sounds gonna probably suck, uh, but just so you can have an idea, but then you can check the link on the SoundCloud and then I'll uh, go into the live room and show you the setup. I'll just quick edit it that out, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, we're in the live room now. Uh, we're going to talk about mic placement and uh, the settings on the preamps, uh, compression, uh, uh, and all sorts. But first, uh, uh, first I want to talk about the instrument. Uh, a lot of people forget these days uh, that uh, the quality of the instrument and the player has an immense impact on the sound. An immense. Uh, you can have a, a, a Martins or, or, or uh, a very expensive acoustic guitars and have a sucky uh, guitar player and it's going to sound horrible. But you can have a great player and a great acoustic guitar and average microphones and you will get that great performance, that sound. It's not all about microphones and preamps and, and, and uh, plugins and compression and like that. If you don't capture the performance, you're never gonna have a great take. Uh, so I wanna talk about the instrument. This, uh, this is an acoustic guitar. Uh, it's uh, Yamaha FGX412C. Uh, it's 10 years old. This is one of the greatest acoustic guitars I recorded. I mean, uh, it's not the greatest by price range and by quality, but it just has that sound, which I just love. It's dark, but uh, it's very dark and brooding. Um, but, uh, uh, but it has a shiny top air end on it. I just love it. It sounds more like a classical guitar uh, uh, than, uh, than an acoustic guitar. Uh, so we're gonna talk about the mic placements. Yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, I've mic the guitar with uh, three microphones. Uh, this is my preferred choice of miking because uh, when you're miking a guitar or any type of instrument, you got to think about what you want to capture. If this was a pop song and uh, the, the guitar player was just playing chords uh, and, uh, in, in a verse or maybe a chorus, you would double track it, maybe one, two microphones. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a rhythm thing, it gotta, it's got to be shiny. Uh, but this is more like a flamenco even Middle Eastern ethno style of playing, so I wanted to capture it uh, more naturally. So uh, the, the the sample you're gonna hear, nothing is double tracked. Uh, the rhythm guitar, uh, which plays uh, beneath the lead guitar, is mic with three microphones. So first of all, we have a tube uh, 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 tube large con uh, large condenser microphone. This is the SC uh, five uh, five uh, fifty six hundred. Z2. This is a beautiful sounding microphone for. Uh, it's very Neumannish for uh, for uh, for guitars, especially for this guitar. For vocals, it has a very rich, 
low end texture, uh, which I love about it. Uh, it's pointing, uh, it's pointing at the at the hole, the resonant hole of the guitar, but with a slight angle to this side, so it picks up all the low end and resonating uh, uh, resonating frequencies of the body. Uh, the second of all is a small con a pencil condenser. It doesn't it doesn't matter. I uh, on this re on, on this uh, on this song I use this one. Uh, it's a Byron Dynamic. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure which model. Uh, but it's a, a small condenser microphone. It's pointed at the neck, so it's gonna pick up all the high frequency uh, 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 slurs, the note changes, everything, and it's gonna give you that uh, extra dimension. To a guitar so this picks up the low end this picks up more of a high bridgey end and uh, uh, and uh, of course it doesn't pick up the mud from the guitar uh, it's uh, angled at uh, at, uh, at this it's angled at a small um, it's not pointing directly I'm sorry because of my English it's not pointing directly at the bridge it's uh, at a slight angle so you don't get that harshness from when the guitar player is doing this and the third microphone is a clip-on microphone, which I clipped, I'm sorry, you can't see it, uh, which I clipped on to the head uh, of the guitar. It's a small condenser microphone also. It's from, it's a Byron Dynamic Opus 87. Uh, this is usually used on, on toms for live, but I found that it's great on, acoust uh, on an acoustic guitar as a clip-on. Uh, it just gives that uh, uh, it just gives the guitar a more human feel. Um, I don't like uh, pre-produced guitars when you can't hear the player breathing, the notes moving, everything's cut out, everything's swingy. It almost sounds like it's been uh, it's been it's it's a MIDI guitar, not a real guitar. And this microphone pointing at this side will give you will give you will give you the hand bobs as the player moves uh, will give you the sound it's basically like an effects microphone like you would use a, a room mic for a drum it just gives you ambiance effect effects it's like yeah effects and uh, this has the same uh, purpose it's just an effect microphone when you mix it in you don't mix it a lot you, you compress it a little bit and and you just uh, just add it a little bit so it, so it, the guitar gets that human feel the record the recording gets that human feel uh, as always when tracking with multiple microphones you, you gotta uh, watch out for phase issues uh, and uh, first you put the microphones then you check the phase then you tweak them tweak them tweak them it's all about tweaking uh, uh, Particularly for this instance, I just put the microphones and everything was in phase. So, so I was lucky there. But usually, I'll the, I'll let the guitar player play. I'll move, I'll move the uh, I'll move the microphones. I'll check the phase, move the microphones until I'm happy with the sound. Uh, mix wise on the sample when we track uh, in this pattern. Uh, uh, I pan the guitars in the mix. Uh, I pan this. 70% uh, right, uh, this one 70% uh, maybe 80% left and this I pan 50-60% by, but I just add this microphone a tinge so you get that, I don't know, that, 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 human, that human aspect of playing. Uh, so you, you, you can hear the sample, no big philosophy, I'm uh, in the center of the room as, uh, uh, as, as, I don't know, placement is important in a room. Uh, I'm next to a wall, I always find that this is the best place for me in my room to track guitars, this or in the corner, but I, uh, I usually record like this. Uh, you can't see it, uh, but there's a panel. There would be a panel in front, but I, I had to move it so you can see me. Uh, so I just densen up the room. I, I, I tighten the room up I, uh, uh, so I don't get any, if I don't want it, uh, room ambience. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's the for the rhythm guitar. For the lead guitar, I used just one microphone and it was this one. Uh, I It was pointed more if I if we I, I don't want to move the microphone but it was pointed like this so but still at an angle I never I never I never aim at the hole I always put it at a slight angle because in ethno music and flamenco 
uh, it's very percussive music. You have uh, you have big transients, uh, so it's easier. It's just easier on the membrane, uh, and that's about that. Uh, uh, preamp wise, compression wise, uh, nothing uh, of uh, compression or EQ was used on the rhythm guitar, which is playing in the background. It's just one guitar, uh, no EQ, uh, no nothing on the lead guitar which was just uh, recorded with this one microphone i used uh, i used compression four to one but just a little bit just so you get the needle moving and i used a little bit of eq i boosted uh, on the avalon uh, i boosted uh, around two f 250 uh, about 2 db and uh uh, and at 32k on the Avalon, it has that 32k function. I boosted around, so it just has that air and punchiness. Because when we tracked with one mic, it kind of lost, it lost that space. So I just uh, just tweaked it a little bit, and that's that. In the mix, it's just going to uh, SSLX uh, reverb from no, uh, Duendo, and that's that. Uh, I'm gonna upload the guitar video uh, right after that, show you reamping and stuff like that. But uh, this is this for acoustic guitars. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, sadly, we couldn't get uh, new uh, heads for the drums, uh, but that doesn't really matter. We're gonna track without the toms. Uh, so we're just gonna track kick, snare, hi hat, and all of the cymbals. Um, it's a type of song which maybe doesn't need toms, uh, but I'm sad that I can show you how I mic the toms and more techniques about micing the toms. Uh, so that's that. Peace out.